how to import your product in Shopify using CSV files. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can import your CSV files into Shopify and have them added as product. So let's get into it. Now, keep in mind that whenever you are switching platforms, you might not be able to directly import items from one place to another especially if you're building from a website builder and then you want to convert it into a Shopify store, then you might have to use the CSV file method. So going back into our product, we can get started with adding more product or removing product if you want to take your pre-existing Shopify product and take a CSV file of them. You can also do that as well. Now, for example, I want to take these products out and I want to import them to a new store. Uh, I can click on export on the top right and then I can choose which type of CSV file you want. So let's say I want all of my products. Then I can choose how I want to export them. So as a CSV for Excel numbers or other spreadsheet programs or a plain CSV file. Now, after you do that, you can click on export product and this will be sent to your actual email address that you are using. And you can actually take them from over there. So you can take all of your exported products from over there. Now, how can you import products? Well, to do that, simply go into your product on Shopify. Once you're in your product section on Shopify, click on import. Now you will see all overwrite any current products that have the same handle. Existing values will be used for any missing columns. Now this option is something to be aware of because if you have two products that have the same name, so let's say I have white t-shirt as the title for two products, then the new product would be added and any values that I don't have for the original product would be filled out, would be filled out with the pre-existing values and the rest would be replaced. So keep this out if you're not certain about any overlap within your product. And you can see publish all new products to all sales channels. Now, you can turn this off or turn this on depending on what you might require. So because if you're uncertain about the formatting of your CSV file, you can choose to not publish them all together. So you can actually manually check them later on or just, you know, do a face evaluation of how your products are formatted when they are imported and then choose to publish them. Now, you also get a sample CSV file template on Shopify just to be able to see how your product should be listed. So you have your handle, title, vendor, product category, type, tags, published, options, and different categorizations. Now you can go on ahead and edit this title, just so I can show you guys like this. So you can add multiple different titles and you can go on ahead and save this. And then after that, you can upload your particular file over here in your import product now if i click on add file over here and i go into my downloads and i have previously created a csv file over here so what i'm gonna do is you guys can see over here this is a sample csv spreadsheet and i can click on add this or open and now once this has been opened i can click on upload and preview now this will give me a preview of what the products are. You guys can see that the products have multiple different titles like this. So maybe we have this storage shelf. This has multiple different information items. Then we also have product categories. So you can take off the things that you added in your spreadsheet. So let's say I added maybe product descriptions. I can add that over here as well. I don't have that added, so I'm gonna remove it. But after you've done that, you can click on save column headings and then you can click on import product and your product would be imported over here. Now, this is going to be dependent on how many categorization informations you have. Currently, you saw that I only had titles added in that particular CSV file, so only my titles were imported. Now, if I want to import more detailed product information and I want it to be very accurate, I can click on import on the top right, click on add file, and take a look at the sample file of Shopify. Just download this particular sample file and re-enter the data so you guys can see this has multiple different items you can click on import product over here and because it has multiple different rows and columns structured exactly the way that shopify wants your items to be structured this is going to make it easier for you to import product so you guys can see example hat example pants example t-shirt simply because this csv file already had it had all of that information you can go into your product template over here just to overview what it's looking like so you guys can see over here you have your handle title then body 
Placement, vendor, product category, tags, published, option names, then SQ variant. So if you have any unnecessary columns like this, you can choose to delete them as well. So you can cut these particular cells like this. You can, you know, delete the entire column as well if you want. So you can click on delete column like this, then click on delete column once more. If you have particular columns that you're not going to add any values to, if you feel like this column might be of use to you, you can choose to keep it. But you can see the variant grams, the variant tracker, inventory, inventory policy, and you also have your variant fulfillment service, price, as well as compare at price. There's also shipping, taxable, then barcodes. You also have the images linked. Now, keep in mind, if you have to link images in CSV files, you know, you can't upload images within CSV files. You have to upload the images separately on any open house data hosting program. You can just upload them to Discord and then copy the link from over there, copy the URL link and just link it over here. Then you have your image position, the alternate text, as well as SEO titles, descriptions, product categories, as well as Google shopping comparisons. Now, keep in mind, all of these fields are not necessary. If you're building a simple importing list and you have a lot of products and you don't know how to, you know, structure them, simply add a handle, title, category, as well as type and tag if you already know your tags if you don't know them you can skip them just add the product type and then just add your price and image you don't have to add the rest of the detail because this is not going to be key information about your product you can choose to later on add this however building one spreadsheet with all of these columns is going to be a lot more helpful rather than having to manually add all this information. So if you want to find this particular template, just go into products on Shopify, then click on import and click on this option over here. So this is a clickable link to sample CSV template. Just download this particular file and you can format the rest of your data in accordance to this particular file. So in this way, you can import your products to Shopify. Now, it's the same process with export. You can click on export and you can export all of your products like this. And you can choose a plain CSV file or you can also choose to add a editable CSV file. Now, if I have a product like this, an individual product, and you click on more actions, you can actually duplicate products in this way as well. And, you know, if you have multiple different products that are similar and you're only looking to import a certain category of products let's say i only want to import this hydrating moisturizer and the air purifier i'm just going to click on both of these products and then i can click on export and then i will just click on selected two products and i can export these products you can also do this for any other categorization let's say you're taking out a certain collection from your shopify store so you can you know export them to a different store so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about Shopify and how you can get started, make sure to leave a question in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.